Epic line. Fifteen. Ooh. Almost like a different intro. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was an interesting, uh, interesting moment. But we are indeed here. As uh, we've just knifed. Yeah, we have. Red Snake, Molotovs and Marshmallows, they won the knife round. They're going to be sticking to stay on this CT side. Now, TBA UK team, who are part of this team, here, had a pretty rough time on Dust2, especially their CT side. We probably will have to change the as well, especially the little overload bug. Where the, yeah, go on, yeah, change we'll that res. Just fix that quick. Go on, I trust you. still seem to have it but what bug are you on about this is, we have no radar mate on the streaming pc so now uh, we can reconnect. see that sure does that fix it yeah to change it. i'm pretty sure a retry fixes that you sure pretty sure yeah oh, yeah, Boom. oh there we go up top there we go nice so pistol round with 5v3 quickly fish one two three lost three players maybe yeah three players now make that four vertigo Oh, rattlesnake position. We got what? A 2k in there. Mm. Red snake got two, Ben got one. Only Aqua died there. Pretty good start there for the M&M. That's just what you want to start the game off fast, large and in charge. And they keep it up there. Actually, opts in to go for four Famuses there instead of the SMGs that are actually fairly competent in the meta now. Get you a bit of extra bank, but of course you do have to worry about that risk of being too far away to actually connect the shots. Yeah, you see, I'm actually okay with them picking up the SMGs here because Fish123 didn't get a bomb plant down. So mm -hmm. there's no threat of early rifles, early AKs coming in. So the SMGs, getting the extra money in there is... It's understandable. Whereas this FAMAS buy, we know they're not great when you compare them to the M4. And Dust2, you're... I guess you you can modify the jewels so you're taking it close range. Like oh, yeah. in this situation here, an MP7 would have also been fine. You can play up close on that B site, you can play on short. You can play A from down long. You, you can take modified range jewels to favor your weapons, especially as the CT side. But they wanted to go for the Famasis, that's exactly what they've gone for here. I mean, it is more of a up close and personal map per se, as you're saying. You can get into those nice angles to get those juicy kills. But something that will be useful is the scout that we do see on Vertigo. He should be able to hold him back. And there's the first rag. Can he connect the second? Linda comes in to help him out. Got one there. It's not too bad, still useful. Yeah, Red Snake and Kinder coming in with two frags apiece as well. Everyone putting in the work there. And that is good. Fish123, of course, still haven't been able to get a bomb plant. They've really been struggling to actually get anywhere near the site, so still forced onto the ecos. After this, though, it will be a different story when we go into that first buy round. So let's see if they're gonna try to get it out of the way or actually pull something out of their sleeves. Here. Pretty safe setup here for Fish123. It looks like they're going to try and go for an A wraparound here, but these three players now are going to get absolutely obliterated. There is Vertigo with one, Vertigo with two. Aqua, of course, got the assist on both players. But these two players on short should also. They still got one that one. Yeah, no, that's good. That's going to be a real huge economic boost for the guys on the T side. Red Snake, they're trying to get that final frag onto Uber, but he's just teasing them, Hoss, trying to get them to lose their guns. No one from M&M &M goes down there. They get the defuse. And of course, that bomb plant essentially means we could see an AWP here on the aggressive T side. Bomb has been defused. Counter terrorists win. 2.4 plus 8. Mm. Kisa can go for it. Boom, straight away. Yeah, there you go. You want to like swim warehouse? I'll accept it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's time. Yeah. You'll allow it. Yeah. You'll allow it. Straight down on no retaliation. They're ready for it, and that's just what they're going to go for. Three, five T's all the way, charging in as fast as they can. Mm. 
Well, that five play down long there. Smoke drops the front here. We can see Joe five coming through. Keeper is there trying to get a high advantage, just sitting on the top of here, but not really finding anything just yet. There is a play behind the box as we can see, but of course, Keith himself doesn't know anything about that. That's true, and Davey's in the dark when it comes to information like that. He doesn't have x ray vision, does he, Hoss? You never know. Maybe. <laughs> He's an X Man. Two players from the CT side. They're on short, playing a close angle, so they can trade for each other in case anything does go down. All four of the T's, slowly but surely working their way down mid there. There go, looking to maybe challenge Keats down long here. He has his auto sniper, it's his favourite weapon. Kinder is going to pick up one onto Joe. Looking for potentially more there on short, as they are going to come running their way through. Aqua with a lot of second shots and dives. Vertigo capitalised, gets the frag onto Kinder, that is going to be big. Vertigo is primed and ready though, the auto sniper is in play. Five off the pot shots, takes down Weber, switches over. Peter coming in with the... Oh, but unfortunately it was just all too little, too late as he gets shut down by Red Snake with the Thomas. Man, Vertigo is probably the only player I know of that will consistently buy an auto sniper. Mm. He does it on Mirage, plays from CT, does it on Dust 2. He's trying to do it on overpass. It's just about getting that economy going. You give him the chance, he will pick it up. Oh, yeah. I mean, we even saw it ourselves playing against them on Cobblestone. Did you feel the wrath? Yeah. yeah. You do, and it, you, that's the thing. It's yeah. such a powerful weapon to just hold down tight angles. There's remember, nothing you can do with a suppressor. I remember hearing fire. your comms. Yeah. I remember hearing your comms. Say, it's just avoid mid. You can't go there. Don't go there. You can't challenge. And instead, you went inside and you first got ranked and dropped down. Yeah. Hey, ho. Keep going there. Do some wrecking with his own straight onto Ben. That's beautiful stuff. Red Snake, on the other hand, trying to do some damage onto Cryptex. Gets the frag, and it's all on Keeter. He's miles away. He's got a sprint towards Short, and Aqua's in a prime position to hold him back. Good model from the marshmallows right here. Five rounds to the good. Could really actually do with some marshmallows. Mm. Make you hungry. Toasted, Maybe later tonight. Toasted marshmallows. We'll do a, we'll do a shop straight. run. Yeah. Right. Cryptics this time leading the charge there, Hoss, with the boys. Actually setting up with the smokes, it seems. Where is he? He is Ooh. there. He's going to hit that space button. This team get ready. They might actually be trying to go for a triple mid phase here to get information, but yeah, look at this. Elsewhere. Yeah. Ben and friend. The Red Snake, they, they got the pick in B tunnels. Oh, that's one point. Trade Aqua, he's going to go down. 4v3 now. Tease, they still have quite a bit of time to work with considering how passive they were. Still got a minute on the clock to try and get on towards the safe side. All three players are going to be going down towards long. The thing is, Hoss, even if they do get up there and get towards cross, you've got one hell of a barrier to entry there. Vertigo with that auto sniper. I mean, we have been harping on it, but it's such a powerhouse of a weapon. You really can just shut down entire areas of the map, and that's just what he's going to try to do here. And a fire angle gets the tag. Can he turn it into the frag, though, Hoss? Thank you, always want it, but it was only a small tag through the box. Weber isn't actually going to get a look in on Red Snake there, because uh, Joe's. Got there first. Bombs on down. Three versus three retake for Weber. Very dangerous. How long Vertigo is actually going to get taken down there? Now it's just down to Ben and Kinder. Molotov goes out to the site. Ben gets a juicy frag there onto Joe. Can he turn it into the double? Kinder comes in. Shaming in with a frag. Straight away onto Keita. One versus one. Weber with the AWP. He's at long. He's in a better position for this, but Kinder's found one in his own. Oh, and he gets the shot. <laughs> Struggles to find the bomb, but. <laughs> That's the hard part. An easy part, almost. Uh, oh. Good pick up there, though, from Kinder, picking up that AWP and just challenging Weber like yeah. he is. I mean, look at this economy 8k on Ben, 6k on Red Snake. It's looking really, really good right now. He's uh, actually he got dropped to the AWP there. Mm. I mean, that's the thing to talk about. Like, Counter Strike really is just about having that confidence to just go for that face and just completely blowing apart your enemy. So it's worth him trying that. Yeah. 
more of a spread out play from the T's this time around. Trying to find that pick and just work with whatever leak they can get into a site. But right now they've just kind of split and picking, just getting the intel right now. Joe waiting for someone to go aggressive down long. We have Batham here. Now coming in towards mid, joining his teammates. There's no real challenge in mid. The only challenge would be Kinder, who's playing from CT. And if he gets smoked off, like he's about to be done. If that's even good English. And now isolates these two players on the side. Ben is in actually quite a prime time position to go huge. So if they do sneak in and don't check it, the flash out. But look at this. Kinder through the smoke. Beautiful stuff. Gets one. He double it up. Looking for more frags, they line up Ooh. for him. Quick one, two. It's essentially a two, three. Ben's gonna come in with that frag. Oh, he's just missed Brandon Weber Weber. By himself. Really nice play there from Kendra in CT. Yeah, that was lovely. That's just what they needed to really just tear down the defenses of Fish and just have them just lose morale, have to fall back in and scatter. Here's the thing, Molotovs and Molotovs now. They're steaming ahead of us. You can tell they've got so much power. They really couldn't give a damn about what they're going up against. They are literally on fire. They are. I mean, look at their logos. <laughs> they're on fire. <laughs> apart, apart, from, apart from Red Snake. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Although he is literally on fire. Eight frags yeah. there. Second highest. Off the server, in fact, I mean, look at those frags. They're pretty spread out. Four for Keaters, four for Weber. <laughs> Base. Actually, no kills, yeah. Needs to pick it Gone up. Bond 007 there. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. Needs to pick it up like a secret agent. Mm. Cryptic's outside of long, though. And a nice angle to just get the frag if Aqua does decide to get too big for his boots. We actually haven't seen any aggression down long though from Molotovs and Marshmallows. They play pretty passive down here, just taking the trades from here. So I highly doubt we'll actually see Aqua go aggressive. There's one. Not able to get the second. Could have potentially waited a little bit longer had he had heard the first step. But Vertigo is going to have to deal with that. That was Weber coming at him. Now we're three versus four. Bob has to get picked up here. We actually had a player drop down there on towards Elevator. Are they going to boost player on though? That's the question. It's highly unlikely considering the position Patron Bath are in, but now Bath is dead. Red Snake's going to be coming in here. They've got a very nice crossfire set up. Kind of have kind of seems like inside, I guess, at least one towards that long area, but they're going to be able to retake that three versus four. Kinder again coming in pretty big with the two clutch frags and the defuse. Yeah, that is just so huge. Eight rounds in a row on the board. They're doing so much work, it's just spectacular. Yeah, if I recall correctly, Fish did win map one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good, good. <coughs> yeah. Worried from it. Yeah, it was a very close game, but they were able to squeeze it out in OT. Good old OT. Eight rounds to the good now. Secures Molotov and Marshmallows the win on this half. No matter what the, or how the rest of this half goes, they will go in to the change ahead. Pretty fast play here from 5th, one, two, three. Quick play. They do take the smoke, but Joe doesn't care for that one. Good ticks. There's a uh, as well as Kim sprays through. Went huge a bit last time, but this fortunate time he falls short. Then goes out, gets the kill. And that's all he's going to get today, Hoss. And there's only two CTs left, and their defenses are very, very short. Both on A and trying to find out what they can actually do here. Vertigo just trying to defend this one now. We could see Fish 1, 2, 3 getting their first round in here. What's the economy look like? It's good enough they can actually challenge this. Joe and Bait actually being tagged down as well. Will certainly help them, but no, they act, they want to save. Interesting choice. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, backing off really, they've got an awful lot of cash, but actually, it's just a bit of a look. Cash over on Aqua is actually only 2200, 6000 on Vertigo, everyone else hovering around sort of the 5k mark. They wouldn't be too bad off, but I guess they're not willing to go for it. Terrorists win. I can't 
Pulse Gather 5 together yet again here though. Vertigo buying up with those days. It also dropped an M4 to one of his teammates. They can probably put a buy together here as well, should they lose this one. I get one. 1.9k. Kimber can probably drop a fan ass off that red stage. The rest of those can, of course, buy. Again, another fast play. Okay, one, two, three. Bait. He's still trying to get on the scoreboard. No, he's got three strikes now. Oh, through the smoke there, that is a devastating shot on Takita. Cryptics was able to slide onto the site though. Boy, okay shot from the huge stuff coming out from the boys. For me too. This bomb may get planted. Well, it's going to be able to take out Aqua, which would suggest this bomb is in fact going to go down. And there it is, Cryptics. Exactly that, but gets mollied away. They're going to delay it even further here, they know. The T's are low, they know their type of the Bomb goes down, just maybe not so much in an ideal position. I mean, that's all they're gonna get though, Hoss. So they've gotta do what they can. Cryptic's trying to avoid that fire, doesn't want to get sent off to the birds war just yet as Ben goes huge. Gets one kill from behind. Red Snake through the box takes down Cryptic's, and he's got just enough time to get the bomb defuse as well. Just about no kit. Lucky. Kind of Surprising that none of the CTs he walked over had a kit as well. Yeah. There we go. Sim. All four of them. Straight up buying kits this time around. Night one. And more importantly, that's kind of crushed Fish 123's economy. They've got. They have had a good number of plants in there. You got one there. One, two, three, four out of the past six rounds have mm. had plants in. And one of them was around with. Oh, five of the past six. Yeah. There's one of them with Virus Explosion. They've had plants, which is why they're coming here so good, but right now their life bars aren't so good. Joe and Chris are both all in here. Kimber pulls this one player out. That was Keita. Now it's just base and Weber, last two standing. Far away, shots as fast as fingers can go, takes down Ben. And that could get us a frag there as well. Oh, he's only got that tech nine and he's wandering around. He needs to try and get another frag here, try and equal things up, pick himself up a rifle if he can. Ops to drop down into CT there. Looks like he might just be backing off, trying to save that armor in the M4. He's found no reason to lose it, Hoss. Doesn't want to throw it away. Yeah, he certainly doesn't, of course, because right now they're going to get, what, 1.9k mm. income for this round win? And that's going to put Joe on just about 3k, Cryptic's on just over 2. Keita on nothing. Weber, of course, gets no income, so right now he's saving 5k, which is like, what, 3k more than he'd get, actually, yeah. monetary-wise. So you can understand why he's saving this one here, but nonetheless, it is a very long save. It is, indeed. They're playing it by the books, though. No reason to go yep. Rambo or too aggressive, try and get the frag onto him. Everyone just covering for each other, which is nice to see. Three seconds left now in this round. And. Counter terrorist oh, CT's win as if we needed confirmation of that one. Can we just check it out with as he does to skip one out of there? Ten rounds to one. Molotovs and marshmallows looking rather convincing here as if we're going to be going to a uh, black number three in the middle of place. Mm. It's interesting to say the least. I mean, Molotovs and Marshmallows seem to find their form somewhere towards the end of Overpass, but just fell short of the last hurdle, which was a bit of a shame. Yeah, they really did. Going into that overtime, they started off okay, and then about fourth round, I think it was, in the first half of the overtime, they literally just oh, they just lost crumbled, it. Yeah. Yeah. They did indeed just Apple and Black Current Crumble. Apple and Black Current Crumble. Crumble Crumble. Yeah. Apple Crumble. Kim on a boost that's actually been really popular recently due to yeah. how I've seen, it is. I've seen Rahlan do that a lot, but it's kind of weird because it gives you the angle on them actually running up towards that B site if it is a B site. If they challenge you on CT, you have no clue about it. Yeah. And it's kind of a really weird one. Like here, he is so close to anyone up close in Purple, he could just get taken out. But this is going to be. Fun fun. Oh, I'm going to kind of force buy ish round, I guess. And then we're gonna save. Look at that economy. 1.2, 1k, 3 and a bit. 
really not good. Mm. <laughs> Here's the thing though, I mean, as we were saying earlier, Eminem have essentially secured that round off a very long time ago. Yeah. They're not really too worried about what they do, they just don't want to give fish too much of an advantage maybe I'd say and they were able to pick up a few guns here, dent the economy so that they could start running away with it and get somewhere in the region of sort of say four terrorists win. And then we're worried about that than actually losing the odd round here and here, just on the safe. Yeah, it's certainly understandable. They can of course get back together here. And ten rounds already, you're probably set going into the yeah, second half. That's let's, what I mean. Let's be fair. And you're not going to be too worried about how this is going to go no. from that point. They were really happy with it. You can see how easily they just went huge early on. So early on. They won what? Eight rounds? Yeah. Eight rounds in a row early on. That's fine. You won the half. It's done. Dust 2 is kind of like a 9, 6, 8, 7 map anyway on either side. So to get those eight rounds, you know you've won the half. Look at this though. Everyone working towards short and... We've mentioned it a fair few times this evening, but the auto sniper is in play from Vertigo once again, and it's in a prime position to just rip through all of the unsuspecting T's. Playing from good old Rattlesnake. Position, of course, named after the man himself. TBA UK team. He actually dropped down. Yeah. CT there, I believe. Heavily tagged, and this is an elaborate B play, which I've actually seen Weber do. That's kind of like a lurk. You push up short, then drop down. As I will we'll pick up that frag there. They do try and smoke him off, but he's just going to straight up push through. Two versus three, they can probably go for this. They'll get 1.9k for losing this round, but Vertigo looks like he completely wants nothing. Nothing to do with this right now. Yeah, they are. Once again. Opted to just back off, save it out, not throw the weapons away for any unnecessary reason, and just hold on to them. Yeah, and again, it goes back to the thing where they're just happy. Yeah. They really have no reason to just run in their all guns blazing, just no. giving them free weapons. I mean, everyone's really stepped it up aim-wise over on Molotov's Marshmallows, of course, as well. They're doing some real damage. Kinder right now leading with 16 to 6. Ripping heads off left, right and centre when it comes down to it. Yeah, now they are going to go to the boost up short. This is probably some of the first aggression we're actually seeing here out of Aqua on towards short. But elsewhere, it's a very quick play coming out from the inside. It's going to be one for bed. Looking for a second, gonna get it, has to reload. Don't worry, Red Snake is there on the reface. Flashbang goes out, two players there. Not able to connect with the pipe though. Cryptix is very confused about this whole situation in tongues, looking around all over the place, paranoid to where the CTs may be coming from. And uh, looking around, trying to find himself an angle whilst Weber just checks T spawn, just on the off chance that they're getting flanked from behind. I'm pretty sure Fish 1, 2, 3 in this situation. They could look for a save and then drop their teammates. Because Kita and Bath are not going to be on the greatest of money. So the more they can actually take through, the better. And I'm actually surprised we're not seeing... We're not seeing Vertigo actually rotate a little bit closer towards the side and play from inside it. It's understandable that he is covering that mid area. But right now the bomb completely in Eminem's control. Cryptics is pretty low. Weber is the only man trying to challenge this. He has the HP. He has the AWP. Nate is going to go and does tag up him there. Frank, no, it completely missed him. Flashbangs do go out, however. And Ben gets the frag onto Cryptix. Weber decides to pull back, but he was caught out in the open and did get taken down. Last round of the half now. Are we going to see a 12-3? 1-11-4. I think, I think it's probably going to be the former there. Molotov's looking real strong on their defense now. And if they end this one with 12 or 3, they win the pistol, they carry that momentum over. The game is theirs, and we head to map number 3, which I can only assume would be a map kind of like either Cash or Inferno. Unless yeah. we see something funky. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you, though. Look at this, though. Straight through mid -hoss. Everyone getting ready to lock and load as actually they decide. It's not worth it yet. They back off. Send a couple of players up to short, but they send them into their death of Aqua holding the angle. 
with that M4, oh. turns it into the free gate, almost gets the 4 before he gets shut down. I buff him, Vertigo is in a nice angle to deal with the rest of them though. Yeah, Weather just keeping an eye on his behind for the time being, does get made the way down to 86%, looking on towards Xbox rather. The man that was to the left actually walking up mid. Gets the kill onto Red Snake. Trying to even up the numbers in the T's favours, but it's still going to take a fair bit of work at the minute. There we go, getting ready to receive this one, but it's going to be Tinder who immediately sees them. He's going to fall back because they have moved into the cover of smoke. Talking about smoke, there they go as well, so they can get that bomb plant down, but actually Buffum deciding to just go full on aggression there to get the kill onto Ramp first of all. Just the tap in those bomb numbers now, but it's all heating up on the A site. Everyone charging in. He goes from the aggressive play. They both have to reload it. Incredibly awkward times. He's so off-putting. Kinder does get taken down, and he gets the second as well. On to Ben. Lovely stuff. 11-3. Just crazy. 12-3. Sorry. 11-4. There we go. Got there Are again. you sure? It's, it's a late day. It's sure? been no, away it, for it a is, while. It is really late. I mean, some of us. Got woken up in the middle of the night multiple times. At four a.m. Four and then six. Yep. Yeah. Four o'clock in the morning is not the time for banter. It's not. No. <laughs> then at six o'clock, you finally decided it was time to sleep. Yeah. Look at this. The straight out aggression on that B site, showing who's boss as they charge in. Someone. With AFK there as well. He, he lags behind now, finally following up. And they completely secure that site. The bomb will be down. There's a straggler coming from behind from Team Spawn though. Hopefully Aqua will turn around and deal with this or else his head's just going to get taken off. Deal with it. He does not just yet. He might be the close-up trade, but the action right now is on the left side. Red Snake with quick drag on to Keita. Is actually kindled it. Oh, the other fish, one, two, three player. Now it is just beef there. If you're Aqua, you're probably pretty salty about that. Yeah. Terrorists win. Oh, on to Bafum. Finally takes him down. Yeah, one HP, that's... Yeah, and he ran into his shots, apparently. There you go. You just hate it when that happens. It's the worst, man. This one's there spraying a nega if you just run into it. There we go, trying to do some damage with that scout. Just firing away through walls. Thinks he's playing Call of Duty 4 there. I never actually played COD 4. No? No. It's pretty good. Before my time. My first, like, proper PC game. My first proper PC game was League of Legends. 2012. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see. With the scout. Fire the hot shots. Tags and both. The ump of Ben proving to be a bit awkward as he flies it away, gets the frag. Eco win, boys. Doubles it up. Can he turn it into the triple hoss? He's bouncing around like a Quake player. Three HP. Switch to his uh, P2K. Gonna throw the flashbang up. Ducking and diving. Can he do this? He has to reload his ump. Gonna get chased. Surely he would have heard those footsteps. Can you do it? No, he can't. It was pretty tough. Unlucky. Beautiful stuff coming out from there, though. Really showing his skill, picking up four juicy frags. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely so. And I also, with my previous mark, it also means I never played Source. Yeah. The UK CSGO community hate me for this. Yeah, never played Source. 1.6 for that matter. It was League, then CSGO. Condition 0 was the best. Wasn't there one in between? Condition zero. Was there another like? Were you a condition zero player? No, I was source mate. No. Yeah. No one point six. No. Never dabbled source. Not your no, life. No one point six. No. Not the life you wanted to live. No, no. no. It wasn't me. Wasn't that guy. <laughs> that one point six guy. Kinder, he's gonna get the uh, plant down. Was that your height or? Oh, the 1.6. Yeah, oh. 1.6 meters. 
I love the way you realised why I'd said that. Anyway, the Dude, CT. I link up, I link up. Yeah, CT's proven. Let's retake this site with absolute ease as Kinder gets blown to bits, but bomb seems to be a little bit on fire there, Hoss. Is it? Hmm. See, I, I heard that you had a mixtape. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, that started the Great Fire of London. Jeez, it's Great Fire. That is true. I yeah. dropped it out my window and everything caught fire. Yeah. It was terrible. What was that? So I didn't start in a bakery, no. It no. was out your window. Yeah. Cool. That's, of course, how the Great Fire of London started. Yeah. Pretty sure that's a certified thank me. Look at this. The T's going for a 2 1 2 sort of setup there. Everyone's spread out so they can just hold their angles. If anyone does get too aggressive on that CT side, they can easily capitalize on it, picking up the picks and making this a lot, lot easier for the T's to progress and take the round late game. Yeah, very passive again here. Cryptic's kind of mirroring Molotov's CT strat here down long, just not really showing too much skin, not playing aggressive at all. Just sitting there, standard. King Dave. Mm. King Dave of Dota. <laughs> oh, look at this. Cryptic is trying to him somehow, didn't realize he was there. Got the frag onto Ben. Red Snake did realize that he took him down in fairly quick time. 4v4 now, the advantage to the T's as they work towards that A site. Keita is pushing out on short, but he's not going to be greeted by absolutely anything at all, Hosses. Everyone is around that long area. <laughs> Vertigo is just falling back, repositioning to get a frag at mid here. Nice frag there, it doesn't matter. Even if you get boosted up there, you will get a point for it. Joe Jones is going to go down. Just a shame. There it is. Aqua picking up the bomb. Three versus two. All three players on the side. It should be a little bit risky. Peter has no clue where to look as Weber is going to be rotating with only a scout in hand. This is going to be a save. Yeah. It's just got a bit nippy now. I'm going to turn up the aircon. Yeah, that's got fairly cold. Uh, I think you need to drop more mix tapes. God damn. Yeah, it's cold, man. <laughs> <laughs> the three on two though. He is very low. They did get aggressive, they might be able to kill on him, but everyone's opposite to just hold back, tuck in on pit, make a day trip of it. Day trip down to the beach? Yeah. yeah. Good old dust too. Good old sand go. castles. Yeah. Fly some guys. Yeah. Up to the highest heights. I feel like I'm taking Tower's role here of like yeah. knowing musical theatre. Look at that, three kills, easy, in the bag. The real question here though, Jackie, we're 5v2. Do you think Fish123 can take this series 2 0 I feel like with me, Wild Subs and Marshmallow is a team that will favour in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Fish123 have a lot of individual skill and they can we really whip it out when they need to and just do some damage, but Wild Subs and Marshmallow is more of a stable burn. Yeah. Even with Red Snake at the helm. Mm. I assume he's in game leading with this guy. I'd, I'd assume so. Yeah. No one else really jumps out to me as an in game leader. Mm. Not, as, not as far as I'd know. I mean, I'd assume Paint also in game led, right? He seemed to be a guy that was an in game leader. Mm. He was always in the middle, you know, Pint in one hand, high fiving in the other. Yeah. I'd like to say, ooh, beautiful frag there from Crimson. Like <laughs> 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 oh, you back. just did. <laughs> Onto Ben. It's just vertigo left. Trying to sneak away with that bomb. We might actually get the bomb plant down, but holding it is going to be a whole nother matter. There we go, playing a close angle there. Could actually get the Should frag get onto Keita, yeah. Got swamped. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. There's not much he can do there. Did get the bomb plant down and took a little bit of damage to the economy Bomb factor of the CTs. Of course, only did good stuff to his own. They can't, however, get a buy. It's going to be a Tech 9 armor from probably Red Snake. In fact, he's just going to be dropping Tech 9. The rest of his team. The bank of Molotovs. It does go straight down towards mid. Just going to be hiding some of the info of how Molotovs can start off this round. 
Smoke didn't actually go too far. I think I got caught in the middle of mid there. Aqua. Oh yes, the middle of mid is a place. He's gonna get taken down, Aqua. Red Snake also stops the same place. Cryptic's looking like he wants more. Gets one, gets two. That was a three in total of him. Come back on. I feel like if this goes to a third map, it's M and M's. Yeah. It's fish one two three. Have to end it here. I feel this like that's a fair statement. As this well. is what I mean, especially on a map like Dust Two. I feel like this is where their strengths can really come into play. So they just have to go big for me. All right now. Fish one, two, three. We saw Cryptics go pretty big last time around with his 3k defending the site. This time around, however. Got it out Weather with that one. Took his time with the shot as well. I didn't want to rush it. Wanted to secure that frag. And now it forces the rest of Fish one, two, three to play a little bit more passive with their setup right now as we're going to see B3N himself. Rotate out of that position. Joe's actually in a prime time position to go huge here as they line up for him. Gets one, one turns it into the second. Oh, could have got a third. Potentially yeah. a fourth. Imagine if he had the M4A4. That's true. More spray capability. He could have laid down the law, but. Could have, could have, would have. Yeah, well, hindsight's a beautiful thing there. That's a nice frag coming in there from Cryptic looking. Repeat last time, no free, no free cave here, but he could still get the two. They are 3v1 on this defense, Ben trying to creep in through the smoke. Nade will go across. Wow, that was a nice pick on to Kato. My point, I was in a 1 versus 1, but Cryptic's there. Nice and two frag, and we're probably going to see a pause here as Red Snake seems to have rage quit. <laughs> probably hasn't rage quit. There he is, he's back. He did have some trouble with his Ethernet that port at the beginning of the land, did so he? it could be something to do with that. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Playing on Wi Fi. Could be. Could be. I suggested that. I said we could all play on Wi Fi. Yeah. Uh, the Ethernet cable didn't turn up, yeah. He didn't want to. No, I guess that kind of gets rid of the idea of a LAN. Probably. <laughs> One thing for cryptics is Brother Joe. Joe coming in again for the 2K. Turns it into the 3. Wants to make it the corners. Red Snake says, Not today, mate. Shuts him down. Huge stuff coming out from Red Snake there. Yes, however, gonna fake the one. Gonna fake it once again. You know what they say, throws never fake. He's faked it twice already. Is that a double negative? Is he actually oh, throwing? Awesome. We go back to the kind of statistics. There we go. Retake comes on in, but they got the bomb plant on that eco round. Fish one, two, three. Now here in those double figures, 13-10 is the score. Counter terrorists win. Red Snake doesn't even know where Cryptic was. Yeah. James, could thing. you see me? Where were you? Fish one, two, three, keep this up. This could be absolutely devastating for one of the marshmallows as they've really clocked into their form now and they're showing that they can bring the pain when they need to. Making up from that front of sight there. Doesn't really do much. Joe would have been there. Yeah, I think well, they're just back of sight with that orb just in case anyone does go for a face. He's fairly low. A stray nade could take him down, so he's going to be careful. Still 5v5 here with a minute left on the clock and it feels like when the important rounds matter we see both teams just tuck on and play very passive, don't want to give anything away but that's a nice flash coming in, Cryptic gets one, broke nade in a panic, double nade in fact but it's Kinder down to 35 HP, Weber's also taking a pretty big hit here as well however. Mm. Two men to a site here, two on A, two on B. One of them is holding blue by a long. We see the T trying to work towards the execute onto the A site. They'll probably work up short, try smoke off Kia if possible, and then send in the call to put. Oh, that was all collateral. Definitely tagged that through the body of Red Snake there. Went down to 18 HP. 
this is gonna be Kinder last one. Kill the terrorists. There we go, fish one, two, three, proving they've still got that form. They want to end it now. They don't want it to go to a mark three. So they need to keep this pressure up. What is actually Weber's picture? Any idea? Uh, it looks like a pickle in a space cup. Yeah. It's pretty accurate. That's far as I can tell. Uh, an interesting one. It is indeed. We might just have a fish with numbers 1, 2, 3 on the side. We'll see those. Do something. Maybe. Got an elaborate picture. There's a hidden meaning behind it somewhere. Mm. 5v5! Again, no team really showing anything. Cryptic's holding their quick breakthroughs, but 17 guns now on to Vertigo. Everyone. Going around times. Red Snake tried to get out of mid, see if he could get any information, but all he got was some hot toes and he had to fall back. No budge stomp. Ready to charge out to the Hey guys, sorry about that one. Not too sure what went on there. Oh, there it is, we are back in game. Yeah. 13 11, 3 vs 3. This is probably their best chance to take around we've seen in a while, but they don't have 50. Well, they now have 35 seconds left to try and defend this bomb. Beef! Look to your right side, there it is. Connect the headshot for Red Snake, 3 vs 2. Maybe coming around. Should be able to spot the play on Mike Fox. Does it now. Trying to get straight down, connects that. And wow. Another round for Fish123. Yeah, they. I mean, as I've said, it looked like they were getting ready, but now they're primed, they're doing the damage. It's, yeah, you can tell the hype will be real. Everyone is just on point. You say the hype is back. It is true. Yeah. Everyone looking but pretty good. actually out loud as well, hype is back. Ooh. Yeah, you cracked that. I did that. You can see puns. Yeah. Late, but that doesn't stop the puns. That is true. It's time. Everyone budging up outside of long, just biding their time. Marshmallows and Molotovs realise things are getting very close now to actually losing them their advantage in this mashup, so they have to try and nip it in the bud, whatever has been going on for them. One for Joe, is going to try and flash his way back out of that one, but once again, Cryptic's here in the mid area. Gets the frag through mid doors, not sure if he spotted the bomb there either. <coughs> but it is still down and the has to come over. Ben is going to come frag down log. Quick heavy hit for it, however, down to 24 HP. Going to be backing away from that one. Rejoining his team in the mid. He advised to the CTs here on the defense. Ben is very low, of course, as well. He'll be limping around as they try to get up short. Not really much utility left over on the CT, though. A couple of stray flashes, but that's not what they need at all because Crit. Uh, Keita is actually going to be going huge there, getting the frag onto Ben. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Cryptex goes aggressive. Keita faces again. That's two for him. Can he make it the triple? Yes, he can. Lovely, juicy frags coming out there from that AWP. Juicy indeed. Now, we're all tied somehow. We're what, 13.8 now? 13.7 now? Yeah. And no, they've somehow four, been able six, to bring seven. it back. Actually 13.6 down. Yeah, it's a huge comeback for them and they've just really not let multiple smartphones even get an inch anymore. And now forced to just pick up the Tech 9s, it's... That's such a nice boost as well. The slaughterhouse, but they did do a fair bit of damage, picking up two kills of their own. They're able to steal those M4s and use them against the CTs that are trying to retake. I don't get the bomb down just yet, but they are trying. Ooh, the time in there. Maybe at the right time, maybe at the wrong time, you never know how it would have played out. But this bomb ticking quicker and quicker. B site, always the harder one to retake because there are only three. Places to get on in here. They just 
control group in there. It's gonna re volley and look at that cryptic one, two, three. Yeah, he must have the fuse, right? Yeah, he's got it. He's got the kit. First time in this game, he takes the lead. This is 14, crazy. 13. It's taken 27 rounds for Fish123 to finally get a lead going. It's been a long time coming. It has. It really has. Cryptic has been shining. Yeah, he's been doing some damage. Keita as well. Bafe as well. Considering he started 007. Oh, yeah. Bafe started 007. Three frags. Three assists for 16 damage. Good stuff from him. He has been crucial as well. Short hold though. There's been so many rounds where it would have been such a massive leap yeah. onto the site and he's just shut it down. Uh, it's going to be smoked up short for the time being. B3N does have a bit of a gap in that smoke to peek on through, but it's whether Eminem actually want to commit towards this a bomb site or not. Again, they will all be going through one place. Not fancy in the split, and it looks like they are in fact committed to this one. Let's take that one out. They've got the smoke to give them a little bit of cover to get towards this site. Looks like it's going to be a plant for short here. Or is it Cryptix? 1 2 for him. Looking for more, he's just there. As happy as Larry a Goose. Let's take a little bit of parkour there, but all he got was a bullet straight into his cranium. Of Vertigo gets dropped as well. 13 15, and it's looking like Monsters and Marshmallow are going to fall short. Yep, series point here. Can fish one? They have two rounds to take this series. Two maps to zero. It would be a what? A 21 16? Mm. A 16 13 here. That would be a good one. But, next one. Seen a lot from him tonight. Again, Bob Haggin. They're usually very key. Uh, Weber's uh, getting a big frag there. Weber! Oh, turns it into the double as well. And there goes another one straight onto mid box. If he's going to finish this game in style, no, huge stuff. No. Oh, Vertigo no, no, he's not. dispatching him there. Yeah. Vertigo now, last man standing. Literally no man's land. B3N calling the GG. And now it's just him left. Like, how's he fragging right now? Second from bottom. I don't know. He could do this, but it's highly, highly unlikely. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. He's got to have a flawless round here so we move a chance to try and keep them in this game. This one. GG's are coming out. He's got 40 seconds. Counter-terrorists And that is going to be it for today. Rounded up tonight's action. Molotovs and Marshmallows unfortunately knocked down to the lower bracket. Fish 1, 2, 3 advancing 2, 0. Showing that they have bounced back from their loss. Up against Curse these metal hands. Yes. Yeah, them. And that, that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We are done for today. We'll be back tomorrow. I believe it's another 11 o'clock start with the first game. Yeah, yeah 11 o'clock start tomorrow, guys. Be sure to tune in. We'll see you then. But for us tonight, I've been Hoss. With me has been Jackie. Twitter.com forward slash Hosslot. Twitch.tv forward slash ESL underscore Hoss. Twitter.com forward slash 27 in one Jackie. Yes. Yeah, do you have a Twitch channel? Twitch.tv slash I'm going to go and sleep. Cool. Good night stream. <laughs> see you later, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Turn it off, buddy. And to quote Gumster at LAN, 